Hindi, babaro ng phone. Thirty percent na lang? It's 60% kanina. Oh. It's just 15 minutes ago, nag-shower lang ako. Ngayon, it's only 30%. Baka naman meron naman settings dito na hindi pa nak-off kaya mabilis malobat yung phone mo. Or baka naman yung battery health is too low. Kaya naman mabilis malobat. Okay naman siguro yung battery is defective. Let's check. Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Dean and I just have finished a shower. It's because sobrang init dito ngayon sa Bacolod. And uh, our agenda for today is on how to save battery on your iPhone. So in a bit, I'll show you on what you need to turn off on the settings of your phone. So please watch this video. And sa mga hindi pa lang subscribe dyan, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and this notification bell for you to get notified. And guys, before we start with our tutorial, please take this in consideration. So, before you buy a second-hand iPhone, just make sure first na yung battery is still okay. So, I'll just give you the steps on how to check it on the settings of the phone. Para i-check ang status ng battery, just go to settings of your iPhone. Under settings, just look for battery, just scroll down and press the battery option. Under battery option, just press battery health. Make sure nyo na yung battery capacity has good numbers. One of the most important things you need to consider of buying a phone is the peak performance of the battery itself. Isa sa pinaka status ng battery health ng yung phone is yung maximum capacity if you don't see any numbers or it's blank it only means that the battery is not compatible with your phone or probably it might be fake and at the same time if yung peak performance capability ng yung battery shows that it's already degraded it only means na yung battery is lumana and it needs to be replaced immediately all right guys so let's start saving your battery life Go to settings, scroll down to accounts and passwords, hit fetch new data, turn off the switch on top of your screen. Ang dahilan na kailangan natin i-off yung push option, it's because that your iPhone keeps on asking on the mail server if is there a mail, is there a mail, is there a mail. So basically it consumes a lot of your battery, so it's best way for us to turn it off and uh, switch it to fetch mail. So nakikita nyo sa baba, you can see their fetch and it's on automatic. What you need to do is you can just simply change it either every 30 minutes or 15 minutes. It's just like saying na inuutusan mo yung iPhone na i-check yung email mo every 15 or 30 minutes. Under settings option, just go down to privacy. Then hit location services. As you can see, there are a lot of apps that is listed on the screen. The big question is, does this app actually need to know kung nasaan kayo? If the answer is no, simply turn off location services for that certain app. Since wala naman akong Apple Watch, I can just simply turn it off to save some battery. Going back to location services, hit or tap system services. As you can see guys, maraming um, items na nasa listahan. So basically, most of those items are useless. So you can just simply turn them off. So just follow what is on the screen. Actually guys, this is the part kung saan nyo makikita na yung phone nyo ay kumukuha ng lakas sa inyong battery. So it's better for you to switch them off before your battery drains out. Please hit significant location as well and turn it off. Go back to system services and scroll down and you can see there are four different switches. I would suggest you need to switch them all off.
So guys, the next step is uh, turning off background apps. Simply just press and swipe the screen from the bottom to the center part and then swipe it upwards for it to close. And then for iPhone 8 downwards, you can just simply tap the home button twice and then do the same step. Just swipe it upwards for the apps that need to be closed. Next step is turning off notifications on your phone. Try to check the number of apps that you have on your phone. Ask yourself, does this app need to notify me? If not, you can just simply turn off notification for that certain app. So the next step guys is turning off widgets that we don't need. So all you need to do is just swipe your screen to the right hand side and then just tap edit and select the app that you need to remove just hit the minus sign hit the remove button and then done scroll down and hit display and brightness and then hit auto lock one to two minutes is actually okay and guys, uh, consider your phone as your own personal computer as well. So you need also to reboot or restart yung cell phone mo para may refresh naman and to clear any errors that you may encounter on your cell phone. So don't forget to restart or switch off your phone once in a while. And also guys, yung last and pinaka simplest step na suggest ko is yung brightness ng phone mo. So all you need to do is go to the settings of your phone, display in brightness and set it to 25 or that's in between 25 to 40 percent in that way you can save a lot of battery as well. It's just simple. Actually guys this is based on my experience as a technical support as well for mobile phones. So um, basically what happens on your phone if in case na naiinitan yung phone mo, uh, what will happen is that your battery life will also decrease and your battery also will be damaged permanently so I suggest that you need to carry your phone more on a place which is not really that cold since basically if you put your phone on a cold place let's say parang nasa freezer ka what will happen is that your battery will also drain so you just go sa lugar na Tamtaman lang yung temperature. Alright, guys, would like to say thank you for watching our video. And I do hope that this video gave you a lot of information on how to save battery on your iPhone. So the next time we see you, we will have a mukbang. That's gonna be Durian Mukbang. And I hope that this time hindi kami makuha ng Durian na purboto. Walang laman. Purbala. Paano mo sabi? Hindi pa ba obvious yung binigay mo sa aming durian na puro balat, puro buto at walang laman last time? So this time manong, nagbayad ka na ba sa kaibigan mo para sa bagong durian? Walang bayad-bayad yung kaibigan ko yun. Tiwala ko sa'yo manong, okay? So the next time pumunta kami dyan sa Libertad para bubili ng durian, I hope na puro laman na makikita ko, alright? And guys, this is the end of my video. I do hope I'll see you next time for the next video. And again, I would like to request for you to hit the subscribe button and that notification bell for you to get notified. And again, good night.